Okay, so nothing totally new in this lesson, just more time to soak in all this exponent talk. Um, so I just called it More Exponents as a title for this. Here's a bunch of questions, let's see if we can handle this. Uh, 3 bracket 2 to the power 3 bracket. Of course there's nothing in between the 3 and the bracket, so it means we're going to multiply here. And then this is an exponent. According to bed mass, we do the exponents first. So we do this first. 2 to the power 3 is 8. 2 times 2 times 2. And we're multiplying the 3 with the brackets here if we want. 3 times 8 is 24. So that's the kind of stuff we're talking about here today. Okay, this one here, what should we do first? probably want to do what's in the brackets first. B for brackets comes first. 9 plus 1 is 10. That 10 has an exponent 3. What is 10 to the power of 3? And before you say 30, please don't. That hurts when you say that. 10 to the power of 3 is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 100 times 10, 1,000. Okay, so, again, not, not hard at all, it's just relaxing, taking your time, doing it step by step, doing it carefully, and you get the answer. Here, 3 squared times, remember that means times, 3 and all of that is squared. Well, let's do what's in the brackets first. In the brackets, we've got an exponent. So 3 squared is 9. We're going to do that first. So we have 9 times 3, all squared. That's in the brackets. 9 times 3 is 27, all squared. Now, what is 27 squared? Don't start crying yet, just be a big kid and figure this out on the side here without a calculator. 7 times 7, 49. Leave the 9 there, I put the 4 up the top. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. We go to the 10, so now we have to put a 0 here. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. Add it all up, 9. 2, carry the 1, 729. What you should get for your final answer there, 729. All right. This one here, 3 to the power 3 negative 3 to the power 3 times negative 1. Remember with negative bases, if the exponent is in brackets and the exponent is odd, it's going to be an odd answer. Sorry, it's going to be negative answer. Odd exponents give you negative answers. So it's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which uh, is negative 27. Remember, negative 3 times negative 3, times negative 3, that times that is 9, bring down the negative 3, 9 times 3 is 27. Multiply by negative 1. Well, negative 27 times negative 1, negative times a negative is a positive, the answer is 27. What about this child here, this question here? Ugly zero. It's supposed to be zero. 10 minus 14 cubed. What is 10 minus? We do the brackets first, which is 10 minus 14. Negative 4 to the power 3. This is another one of those negative exponent questions. Uh, it's got brackets. It's an odd number though, so we know it's going to be negative. And 4 times itself 3 times. You don't know. Negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4, that times that is 16, 
16 times negative 4. If you don't know, do it on the side, but it is negative 64. Okay, 5 to the power 1. I think there's some trick to this and thinking it's some, it's some tricky question. No, it's not. 5 to the power 1 is 5. You'd be surprised at how many people will say 1 for that one. It's not. It's just 5. One time written down. 5. What about this, though? 5 to the power 0. Now, this is going to be one of those things that I'm just going to tell you what the answer is. And it will make probably no sense to you whatsoever. Next lesson, I'll explain why what I'm saying is true. 5 to the power 0. It's so tempting to say it's 0. But believe it or not, it's not 0. It's not 5. 5 to the power 0 is none of those answers. And you're probably going to freak out when you hear what the answer is. 5 to the power 0 is 1. Yeah, 5 to the power of 0 is a 1. In fact, anything to the power of 0 is 1. I'll explain this next lesson, why that is the case. But just for now, just accept it, nod your head, go along with it. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So 28 to the power of 0, like I said, anything to the power of 0 is 1, is 1. Now with this, what do you think about this one? Negative 10 to the power of 0. Well, we know it's 1. There's no brackets here. That negative sign is stuck to it. So here the answer is negative 1. So again, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. Even like, I don't know, Shoe. Oh God. Shoe to the power zero is one. That's a shoe. Yeah, it is. I'll label it so everyone knows what it is. Shoe is one. All right. Here's your skill testing questions. Only three of them. Try them out. See how you do. Remember, anything to the power of zero is one. Bye. Bye.